What is going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be learning about the conceptual side of nodes. Now nodes are a data structure within uh, Python and we're going to be learning about them. But before I do get into the video, if you are new to the channel, make sure to um, subscribe. Uh, leave a like if you are finding this series helpful. But without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first data structure is nodes. Now we're going to learn what they are and how to implement them in Python. Nodes are the building blocks for some of the data structures to follow and you'll see them pop up many, many more times. So let's focus in on this fundamental here. So uh, again, this is going to be a 100% conceptual for this video. The next uh, videos are going to be, uh, you know, more practicality, but yeah, let's learn it. So the data contained within a node can be a variety of types, depending on the language you are using. In the previous example, it was the integer number five, but it could be a string five, a decimal 5.1, or an array 5.3.4, or nothing, just no. The link or the links within the nodes are sometimes referred to as pointers. This is because they point to another node. Typically, data structures implement nodes with one or more links. If these links are null, it denotes that you have reached the end of the particular node or link path you were previously following. So avoid a variety of node implementations are depicted in the diagram. Examine the types of data and how some of the nodes are linked. So what are the different, what is different about node C? Okay, we'll follow this, but <clears throat> okay, why might it be useful? All right, cool. So looking at this, we have data five and we linked it to node B, we linked it to node B, which is data dog, and it's linked to no. And node C is a little different because it, it links to two things. So think of nodes as like a chain, like a chain link, right? So you know that date the data if it if it has null right here, it means it's not gonna go anywhere, right? If the link is null, it's not gonna go anywhere. As we see but if it has a link then you have to pair it with that link okay so node linking so often due to data structure uh, nodes may only be linked from a single other node this makes it important for you to consider how to implement a modifying or removing nodes from a data structure if you're inadvertently uh, removed a single link to a node, the node's data and any link nodes could be lost to your application. When this happens, it's called an orphaned node. Examine the node in the diagram. Node C is the only node linked to node B. So if you would remove node B, but not node C, you can simply just delete the link from node A to node B Uh, but if you like to remove node B, but not node C, you can't simply just de delete the node from node A or the link from node A to node B. So basically what it's saying is that, let's say you do this, uh, you want to link from from A to C. So if you just link from A to C, you're going to lose node B. But if you link from node A to B, you'll still have uh, node B and node C because node B is pointing to it or linking to it. So the most straightforward path to preserve node C would be to change the node A to the point to node C instead of node B. However, some data structures may handle this in a different manner. Is it important to delete node B if we change node A reference to node C instead? I believe so.
show, yes. Okay, let's take a minute to learn that what we've covered so far. Now, uh, what nodes do is contain data, which can be a variety of data types, contain links to other nodes. If a node has no links or they are null, you have reached the end of the path you were following and can be orphaned if no other link exists. So briefly, let's just take a brief quiz here. So consider the following nodes. Uh, and links. So it's A links to N links to T. If you remove the node N but preserve node T, what would be the resulting node look like? Well, it would simply be A to T because you just got rid of N, right? Which two features do most nodes contain? Array and pointers to other nodes, data and an array containing to other nodes, data and links to other nodes, data and null pointers. So they contain data and links to other nodes. A node containing only null pointers indicate what? You are at the end of the node path you are following. There are no, no, no other nodes in the data structure. The node has no data. Uh, and no other node linked to this node. So you've come to the end. If you see a link that has a no link, it means you're at the end of it. There you go. That was basically the conceptual side of nodes. Uh, in the next video, we'll be putting it together and actually coding uh, how to use on nodes when it comes to code and how to implement it using code. So stay tuned for that. Until the next one, um, if you guys are looking for internships or jobs in tech, uh, make sure to check out the first link in the description. I have a newsletter that basically shifts you uh, jobs and internships every single week. So check it out um, along with tips. If you're not looking for jobs or you just want general tips on life and tech, check it out. Um, highly recommend it completely for free. And if you also want advice from top engineers, uh, you can check out the, uh, the other uh, the other newsletter I have linked to it. It's called Fuser Futurism. And it has um, like a newsletter from top companies uh, linked to it. So check that out. But without, with, with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.